Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So what I want to do today is, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work to the base, laying down a whole lot of floors and things like that. But what I need is I need to get some upgrade materials. So I went ahead over to the uh, basalt mines, well iron mines essentially, but I will get basalt out of that. And in turn, I will have the ability to get myself some, actually, what have I done? Let's just quickly get back into base because I just realized what I was missing. <laughs> so I think I need some pickaxes before I head down over there. So let me go back and grab what I've got in my inventory before we head out on that little quest there. But that's pretty much what I wanted to sort of do today. Just head out there. Um, Kill some enemies and get some resources. That's pretty much what we want to do here. Don't I have any? Ooh. Okay. For some reason, I thought I had crafted a few of these fellas. Hmm. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, I'm going to have to finish those off. And you but I'm gonna have to craft a couple more and I may as well get a couple of these guys here to boot as well just so I've got them and with that being said I should be right on my way so let's find number one and number two and I think I should find some as I'm sort of in the mine as well so that should be okay one would hope one would think to be honest so I'm going to take the wagon with me. As you can see, I've got a bit of resources sitting there as well. And with all, <clears throat> with all of that, I should be okay. So let's do our trick. We know that we've only got 25 energy here. As a lot of people have now come to realize how we can sort of manipulate the system here. And let's just go ahead and use a bit of energy, speed up, and all well and good. Now, the other thing I want to point, um, check out as well is neighboring surroundings. Now, what I mean by that is I want to check out the most efficient way to get the wagon out of the mine so the mine essentially resets. So it's going to take either 20 energy, 46 in the wagon. This will take a little bit more, 25, 64. This will take 17 and 44. Actually, what was that? 46 so that's a little bit less okay I'm looking at both energy parameters as well as the oats I mean I don't really care about the oats because I know I'm gonna be using two oat leaves so it's the energy that I'm more concerned about and obviously I want to stay up there so what I might end up doing is I may park the uh, what do you call it the wagon say at the Indian tribe, and at least this way I know where it's at. I can head back later on if I really need to. No, I don't want the deal of the day, but at least this way I know exactly where I need to go kind of thing. So that's pretty much where I'm at with things at the moment. So yeah, so the reason why I need basalt is uh, just so I can upgrade the floors so I can move around the um, workstations freely. Now, it would have been nice if I actually did my base up before the update because I should have been able to move them around without having to upgrade the um, the floors. Now that I do, it is a bit of a pain. So what can you do? There's not much that can be done or can be said about that. So let's just take these fellas out. Don't know if you've got anything interesting for me. I'll take that. I don't know if I want any of the cotton stuff, but you know what? While I'm here, I may as well take it all with me. And then whatever's the closest, um, you know chest or whatever i'll just drop them off there or just drop them off at the um the what do you call it at the wagon may as well do that take a little bit of stuff with me today as well so yeah i think we should be right with that we've got some iron coming our way which is all well and good as well i think eventually after i've done a bit of a haul over here i'm gonna have to head back over to the chromite uh, mine and start farming for chromite as well because i need to get my steel up because I think I'm starting to run a little bit low unfortunately but yeah that's unfortunately an issue and it's good when you get these type of guns where you can just 
butt up against these guys and gang let it down. Ooh, they're still there too. Got the sniper fella here. So it's good when they're sort of in a cluster, you can sort of take them out. I don't know why you would want to craft oats, but you know, I'm not going to craft them. I'm, sure, I'm glad you guys are crafting them. The NPCs that it, that is. So anyway, uh, let's just heal up on all the bandages. And you know what? I'll have some food there. I'll throw these bandages over here, actually. There we go. And I think we're actually good. Good to go. Let's just uh, take everything. Anything else? All right, let's just open up this fella here. And look at that. You've got yourself a copper pickaxe, which is all well and good. This will go, you know, in one or two nodes, if anything, if I'm lucky, to be honest with you guys. All right, who do we have here? We have a bear. Ooh. Mr. Bear. Let's just get... Ooh, no. I missed... Sorry, I should have gotten out a little bit more, but use that as a bit of a... Um, bit of an obstacle there for us which you know worked out in our favor I guess alrighty so how are we going with this new update guys because it's been out now for I think just a bit over a week actually if I'm not mistaken so actually more than a week couple of weeks two weeks two maybe three weeks time of this recording maybe I think so something to that degree to that you know to that extent is probably the, the way to sort of go about it but um, thought I'd check in and see how you guys are progressing. How much tier 5 resources have you guys accumulated for yourselves? Have you been able to start upgrading the workstations up to tier 5? I'd love to hear your thoughts, uh, sorry, your, um, you know, your updates, um, if that has been a thing so far. If you guys have the ability, and if so, what are you guys now crafting on tier 5? Um, well, as you're getting tier 5 materials, of course. So, what is it? Are you guys uh, crafting and what have you actually unlocked and uncovered for yourselves? Oop. All right, come here, guys. Oh, he just starts to run. Oh, my goodness. I've got a bit of lag happening here, guys. Are you guys seeing that? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. My, um, my phone has never done this before. Are we okay now? Oh jeez! Oh wow! I have never experienced that before. That that was weird. That was definitely weird. Yes, I know you need to warm up, my friend. And don't get me wrong, you will be warming up soonish. Oh wow! This this lag is not good. Um, I'm gonna quickly warm up here. Actually, I don't want to equip that. Let's equip that and let's dump that. Got some more inventory space now. Wow, that was weird. I've never experienced that before at all. I'm just going to sit on auto here for a second. I doubt that there's going to be anyone that's going to be rushing me here or anything like that. But yeah, wow. Anyway, that's um, that, that was a weird thing that just happened with my phone there because that was that's never happened to me before. And to be honest, this has actually happened probably in the last couple of weeks where I've noticed some lag here and there in certain games that I'm playing, so... Wow, I don't know if it's time to start either looking at an upgrade or do I... Um, do I clean this phone out and um, restart it? I mean, I, I definitely don't want to restart the game or anything like that. Definitely don't want to do that, but... I think I might be looking at factory resetting the phone and... putting my stuff back on. I think that's probably where, we, where we're at, but... I guess with that, I'm actually kind of nervous in doing that. And I know a lot of these newer phones or modern phones these days, they have the, you know, whether it's the assurance that you'll get all of your stuff and information and all that sort of stuff back once you, you know, uh, use their, say, their client programs to back up and restore your phone and things like that after you've gone through a factory reset. Now, I don't know if that's a thing, but I mean, it is a thing, of course, but what I'm saying is if it's something that I would be looking at doing and yeah but I guess this is okay now I mean it's fine now I don't know what what its problem was but I have been thinking about doing that recently and I've had this phone for oof, I think it's coming up to three years probably in the next few months because I'm running a Galaxy Note 8 from Samsung and oh he didn't even 
Okay. You didn't even acknowledge me hitting you. Okay, cool. Well, oh, geez, you guys certainly acknowledged me. Alright, let's, um, let's try and get all three of you guys. Got the gang leader here. Come on, buddy. Boom. Yeah, so I've had my phone for nearly three years now. And ever since the Galaxy Note 8 came out, um, I think that would have been possibly 2017. I don't know. But I've had it for nearly three years, and this is probably my longest serving phone that I've had so far. And I mean, in the industry that I work in, I was, um, well, quite used to getting phones given to me because of my job work, uh, my job line, um, you know, promoting phones and things like that. So, actually, do I keep? I'll probably take that. But yeah, I um, usually get phones nearly on a yearly basis, which is great. And now that I don't have, well, I'm not in that side of things to, um, you know, to get new phones now on a regular basis. So um, I'm still with the same company, but I do other things within the same, oh, I need dynamite, okay. Um, within the same company. So with that, I've had basically just hung onto my phone ever since and it's been fine. It does the job. It's been actually really, really good. You know, it's, well, it's what's pretty much helped me, um, you know, start up my channel play all the games that I'm showing you guys and what you guys have seen so far so you know it's done a really good job but maybe I should be considering the upgrade path I don't know I mean what what phones do you guys play with uh, let me know in the comments so you guys all completely mobile based or do you tend to use uh, you know em emulators like blue stacks or things like that I mean, let me know want to know what type of hardware you guys are running are you guys iOS based um, with Apple or are you guys a uh, Google Android and what the I don't know, my guy's doing weird things today, but yeah, really interested to know what type of, um, you know, mobile device you guys are running with. Um, if you guys are Android based, are you Samsung? Are you, I don't know, a different brand? Let me know. And how well does it run on your phone? Would be interested to know that. But I am considering, I guess, if I were to sort of look at a phone at the moment, um, I was actually interested in the Red Magic 5 phone. Yeah that phone only because of its gaming attributes and everything else in between um, and pretty much you know it's a it's a beast it's essentially a powerhouse um, no issues that I've seen with the phone I mean I know there's going to be people that you know may not have the best experience with certain phones it's always there's always going to be you know um, people providing certain feedback on you know certain things and all that sort of stuff so I guess, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, yeah, but I want you guys to, you know, sort of let me know in the comments. Did I really have to leave this, actually? Let's just quickly go back in. I just want to scout the area. What I probably should do is let me hit auto mode. Because that's going to tell me straight away if I've missed any nodes or anything like that. Yeah, no resources to collect, I thought so. Anyway, let's ride. We're going to head over to the tribe. I'm going to have to use a bit of energy to do that as well. So let's um, feed Horsey. Let's head over to over here. Okay, use the remaining energy. Cool. Now, just to be certain that the, um, the mine has reset, we're going to jump in and then jump out. Yeah, so what I was thinking, I was potentially thinking the next Galaxy Note, and I, I did an initially think the Red Magic 5 first. Now the reason, obviously, that I just sort of, well, as I sort of, I always get distracted, always. No matter what I do, I always get distracted. I go on, on, a, on a tandem. If you guys have watched me long enough, you guys would know that straight away. But let's digress a little bit. So. I was thinking the Red, Red Magic 5G phone purely because of the 144 refresh rate and I would think that looks super nice watching it on you know, any screen, whatever that might be, if it's supported, of course. But in saying that, um, I'm... Ooh, why did I leave? I'm thinking that I've spawned in, in the same way and I've left and oh my goodness anyway again this is why I'm this is why I get distracted when I'm talking about things I distract myself I feel like I'm 
in, po in autopilot and I'm not. Anyway, Red Magic 5. Okay, so I was considering that phone. The other reason why I'm not going to get it is I'm worried about the supportability of that device. I don't know if any one of you guys have actually got one yourself. Let me know your experiences with that phone. If it's a solid phone for you guys to game with, things like that. Um, really, really interested to know. The other thing I'm probably worried about is the screen recording feature that may be available or I would have to download a different um, screen recorder client. And that's obviously going to use up, you know, additional resources on the phone, battery, performance, things like that, because it's recording whilst I'm actually playing the game. So this is my conundrum at the moment. I've stuck with Samsung only because of the game launcher feature. And I know that sounds silly, but you guys got to understand the game launcher feature of for I'm sorry for Samsung devices is insane. It's really good. It records in the format that I want. It records at 1080p and it does everything that I need it to do. So even though that I've um, opened up the uh, game launcher while I'm playing a game, I'm also uh, recording at the same time and I'm still recording in 1080p. So there's no um, sacrifice, I guess. And obviously you don't have to pay for it either additionally over the top or anything like that. So I kind of like that. And I know the newer Samsungs have the ability to um, uh, what do you call it? Edit and things like that in the in the gallery as well. I have seen that in your updates. I try to actually upload, sorry, update the um, the gallery on my version of my uh, Note 8, but unfortunately, it didn't give the version that I wanted to use. So yeah, so there's some things that you know I know that I am not benefiting from because I don't have the latest device, and this is probably the re the rationale that I'm sort of looking at to you know stick with it, Samsung for my next device. So. What does that look like? Ideally, honestly, what I'm thinking is I really want to um, wait or see if I can hold out on this phone until next year. Now, the only reason why I want to do that is that if the rumors are true and I'm not in the uh, speculation game that I'll, you know, that I know things that are coming and things like that, I definitely don't. So, full disclaimer on that. But the rumors that I am hearing is that uh, Samsung could very well be possibly teaming up with AMD. Now AMD are a chip manufacturer that also makes graphics cards. So if AMD decide to make a chip with Samsung that will take advantage of AMD, AMD's graphics department and performance new Samsung devices or flagships coming out are going to enhance gaming experience tenfold but this is this is the next conundrum will this phone survive till next year so traditionally Samsung's come out uh, roughly about a Feb March announcement and you get it by the end of March I think last time I checked and that's I guess that's when the last S series came out better heal up real quick so Will my phone um, hold on to till then? I have absolutely no clue. I honestly don't know. And <laughs> knowing my luck, it probably won't. And if it does, great. But there's also the Galaxy Note 20 that's coming out very soon. Now I'm guessing, I think last time I remember, last year's Note came out roughly or announced somewhere in August. And if that plays true, then I've only got about a month and a bit to wait for that phone. So that's my issue. I honestly don't know what I want to do. So do I hold out for a couple of more months, get onto the new Samsung Note 20, that may call it, just putting it in line with the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. So that's my issue. Or if this phone survives, then I can wait till next year. So yeah, that's where I'm at with things at the moment. And I know it's probably a little bit of a ramble here and you know, thinking about what I want to do, you know, for myself, not only just for my own experience, but for your experience as well, because you know, I want to deliver um, good content with you guys. So if if I want to deliver top-notch content and the best content, whether that be the experience itself, how you guys are, you know, watching me playing mobile games, but also 
getting a more reliable phone to do the job as well and handle more of a workload and stress load and things like that so i guess that's my rationale my justification for you know thinking like that um otherwise if i'm able to get on a really so is that a fine repair kit nice okay cool i'll take that um if i've managed to get a really really good deal on say you know an s20 or something like that i ideally want an s20 plus but that's what I'm sort of looking at here. If there's really good deals that I might be able to get the phone over a year, then that'll tie myself over to get, you know, the next generation phone and then I can sort of leap onto that. So there's things that I'm thinking about and I don't know. I mean, the phone that I'm running is three years old. It's still doing a job, but things like that, that you may would have seen that's happened. Uh, and I'm guessing that's probably gonna come through the recording. So hopefully by now you haven't really, you know, if it. I haven't actually seen it, obviously, the um, uh, the playback of the video, so if there's any issues, um, well, you know, if you see that, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, you know, for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, but if um, you haven't, well, yeah, if it doesn't show up in my recording, well, my phone literally froze on me as I was playing, so just to sort of put it out there. Anyway. I think that's probably enough that I wanted to sort of discuss that. I think I probably discussed that a little bit over the top there. Um, that's just me, you know, me being me. I'm sure you guys know me well enough by now. Let's take out these three here. And this is going to die very soon, which it just has. I'm going to have to switch over to that big boy. Nice. Just take you out nice and easy. And I thought there was three raiders. I think one of them ran away. I think that must have been the gang leader because I noticed another gang leader hightailed it as well. So yeah, okay. Not too sure what's happened there, but let's put these guys down here. Let's eat and I think that's good. I think we're good for now. Anyway, I think we're getting closer to the end of this part here and doing okay, I guess. Just, you know, milling our way through Let's see what we break that. No, beautiful. Take out this fella as well. And I think what I might do real quickly is I might just backtrack, see where, well, there's a bear over there. Okay, cool. So I came from here, which is good. And is there anything else around here that I haven't uncovered? Okay, there's a few things I haven't uncovered here. Cool. So we are sort of going into the depths of this so this was actually a bigger map than the first map by the looks of things right, let's take out the bear okay Oop. i let you hit me didn't i all right so let's just hit automate for a second and we'll you know go through this and hit out everything but while he's doing that what have i got so far if I can get into my inventory. So I've got quite a bit of um, iron, which is great. Iron is good so far. The salt, not so much. I mean, I know, I know it is an iron mine, but I really want to try and get as much basalt as possible. The iron is really good because, well, I'm going to need to make steel at some point and I'll probably end up making some iron weapons. So maybe more or less iron guns and things like that. That'd probably be a good thing for me to do, uh, especially you know, having, not having to resort to steel weaponry or anything like that. I can save the steel for resources, use the iron for iron stuff. I think that might be a good play, so I'll probably end up doing that, I guess, at some point. But yeah, the base is probably the next thing I really want to tackle and sort of finish off because, you know, I've been saying it for a very long time. I guess that's the other thing that I've been, um, you know, caught up in. Um, just surfacing updates playing different games like um you know mutiny has come out which was from helio games as well a little bit late into the conversation here but you guys should really check out mutiny it's a really really good game um pirate survival need i say more than that exactly like westland made by the same developer very same similar concept but there's different elements and things like that that are in the game that set it apart from westland so if you guys are interested, I do have a playlist set up already. There are a few video videos there at the moment. So if you want to check it out for yourselves, do check it out. Just be warned, the game is not globally released yet. 
I believe the developers have mentioned that they are going to try and aim for the end of the summer to try and get the game globally released for, for everyone to play it actually so hopefully that holds true hopefully that does happen soon if that does happen brilliant you guys are going to get a pretty decent game and you guys will have a very good time in mucking about in your pirate adventures now I know there probably would be some people that really want to play the game desperately um, if they're really really interested in playing the game of course so if you guys are one of those few people there your best bet at the minute while the game's not globally released get yourselves a VPN if you haven't got one already um, I've already gone down this way okay cool um, and all that you need to do is select one of the three countries that this game has released in now to my knowledge it is uh, South America oh, sorry South Africa sorry uh, India and Australia of course so they're the few countries that you'll need to um, uh, VPN over to I guess if that's a thing well if that's the right thing to say I guess so yeah if you guys do that um, you should be able to utilize mutiny on a VPN the only thing I will say though that I'll be worried about if you guys were to do that if that happens and the game does globally release there might be a risk that you might may not be able to retain your progress question mark I'm not too sure I can't honestly tell you because I don't deal with the um, the VPNs or anything like that so yeah if you guys are half interested in playing the game um, uh, at your own risk I guess um, but if you want to see people play it like myself well just head over onto my channel through the playlist and check it out well I think I've covered this here twice over so I think it's probably a good time to go ahead and leave it today so if you guys ended up enjoying the video be sure to like the video comment down below let me know what you think so far and if you guys are new to the channel seeing what you like enjoyed it and want to see more consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway guys take it easy and as always I will catch you guys next time